All right, YouTube, welcome back. Uh, one of my uh, videos that I try to get out once in a great while. So what is in the box? What could possibly be in the box? If you have uh, difficulty reading upside down, then you know what this box is. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's not be around the bush. All right, uh, this is something that I've been uh, wanting to do and uh, pick up here lately. I have a, uh, a pistol in this caliber, but it's a uh, commander size uh, 1911. A uh, little too heavy to carry around even for a commander size, you know, unless you want to wear suspenders. Um, but I needed something uh, a little bit more modern uh, in the caliber that, uh, that I have plenty of. Um, so I went out and I found this. This is an arms list purchase. Um, I'd been watching it for about, believe it or not, four months. Uh, the guy had it posted and he kept bumping it up, bumping it up. And finally I, uh, I had the, the money on me and I said, you know what, this is the one I'm going to get. And I made him an offer, not his asking price. Uh, and then I covered the fees for the offset. So, uh, I got it within, uh, within a decent budget, uh, price that, uh, I was happy with, uh, and not these, uh, modern prices that are, you know, people are trying to get for these used. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And what we have is a Gen 4 Glock 21 in 45 auto. Now, the uh, cool thing about this one is, is uh, the purchaser bought it in 2013. I think that's around the time when the new Gen 4s were coming out. Um, so some of the characteristics of this uh, handgun are from the earlier models. Um, he did upgrade the uh, slide release, which is excellent. Saved me a few dollars there. Uh, he did include the original one. Um, but this one right here is made in Austria. All right, so it's got the uh, Austria markings on it right up here. And uh, then it also has the MBS, which is the, um, the modular back, uh, back strap. Um, and the newer ones, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute, uh, is my nephew's. And this one, his is made in the uh, United States. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to go try to dig it out. But uh, his is made in the United States, and it does not contain the, the MBS. So this is a very early model. Uh, this one has maybe 50 rounds fired through it, uh, and then put in the safe from 2013 to 2021. So it is extremely new, uh, very, you know, uh, very well maintained. It's got no wear anywhere that you can see. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful actually. Um, it did not come with the, the back strap set up. Uh, he had lost those years ago. No big deal. Uh, when my nephew bought one, uh, he had the back strap, doesn't care for him. Just tossed them right over to me. So got a free set of back straps. Um, comes with three standard magazines, gen four, 13 rounds. Uh, I did pick up three more for a total of six. Um, one thing that I would recommend is, is anytime you could find magazines, uh, pick them up. Just pick them up. Uh, yeah. Buy once, cry once, whatever you want to say, but, uh, you know, just buy them. Um, I also did, while I was at, uh, out and about today, I picked up another uh, Glock 43 magazine. Do I need it? No. Will I need it? Probably. So don't turn them down if you can find them. Uh, same thing with ammo. Uh, ammo has been very difficult to find, as you all know. Uh, I think the stores that I frequent, uh, two box, you know, uh, limit. So yesterday I picked up two boxes of uh, Mosin 5.4R rimmed because um, I didn't want to waste it on two boxes of 22. I got plenty of 22, and I would love to always have more Mosin ammo, you know, because that's going to be the uh, assault rifle of the future. Anyways, so let's get back to the uh, Glock 45 or the Glock 21 in 45. Um, like I said, it's got standard sights, nothing fancy. I don't plan to upgrade them. Um, magazines, of course you see that. Um, it has a very uh, special cartridge test by Donald Trump himself, I think. I'm not gonna, gonna guarantee it, but that's what I say it looks like. We won't go there. Um, another thing that I did pick up, once again, another Amazon purchase. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up. It's a Fabus uh, paddle holster for the Glock 21. Uh, this particular model, I believe, cost me $22, $23. Well, 
wasn't very expensive. You know, Amazon, you find some good deals on there. So let's go ahead and open her up off camera. And uh, I do like Faba's holsters. Uh, I just like them for the simplicity. Um, they got the good you know, non-slide you know, grip in the back. They catch your belt up to, uh, I believe, about a two and a quarter, two inch belt. Yeah, so you know, any any type of uh, belt that you have, it'll it'll work perfect on. Let's go ahead and see the fit. You know, perfect. It fits just like a Fabus holster would. Uh, and these are great for you know when you're out and about and you you know have to take them off for whatever reason. You know, going to a post office. You know, these could slide off with a little bit of work. Um, but you know these are probably one of my favorite holsters. Probably gonna have to see if I can loosen it up somewhere. Which I don't think it does, but in this position it's kind of difficult to pull it out. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show. This is uh, my latest purchase, uh, Gen 4 Glock 21. Um, whenever you can, pick up those firearms, pick up those magazines, pick up those ammo, you know, boxes, whatever caliber you can get a hold of, you know. Hey, you know, even buy ammo for a gun that you may want in the future, you know. Pick up a lot of 40 Smith & Wesson, you never know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, show that off a little bit and uh, put that out there. Uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, will I carry it on a daily basis? Most likely not. Will I carry it out in the woods? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, the Lord's caliber, you know, 45 auto. Um, you know, all that knockdown power and, you know, stopping power and all that other good stuff, you know, people want to talk about it. But, you know, 45, I had plenty of it. I only had one firearm for it. Um, it's not going to be a daily shooter. It's not going to be a daily carry, but it's in the collection. Um, I don't have to tell you what's going on, but, uh, you know, pick them up as you can. Uh, if you can afford it, you know, hey, buy cheap bread as opposed to Wonder Bread, you know, and uh, do what you got to do. But, uh, you know, get a hold of it because, you know, you don't know what's coming down the pipe. All right, YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, good luck out there.